continues today with News Center 5's Marissa Lennon. And you've been talking to aviation experts tonight. Break it down for us. How do we know that the plane was brought down by a missile or an, it wasn't a mechanical problem, for well, example? Well, first of all, Ed, um, aviation experts say that it is so rare for a catastrophic malfunction to take place on a plane when it's reached its cruising altitude. You add to that that this happened over a war zone where just a, a couple of days, in the past couple of days, military planes had already been shot down. And remember, when you're talking about surface-to-air missiles, uh, they don't discriminate. They are heat-seeking, as in seeking the heat of an airline engine. So if it misses its military target, it will search for another. And so what would have happened when that missile hit the plane? Did anyone on board even stand a chance? Well, we do know of cases where a missile has struck a plane and the, and the plane has remained in the air. It had enough of, you know, or one engine to keep going. But clearly in this case, there was so much damage by this missile that it brought the plane down. It would have, uh, part of the plane would have exploded on impact and burned. Part of the fuselage clearly was intact and broke apart as it fell from the sky. Let's talk about the black boxes. We, we understand that they are in possession, that the rebels have this concern over whether they be turned over to investigators. Bottom line, how important will that be to determining what happened? Well, extremely important, Ed, because, of course, as you know, they can tell us everything from um, where the plane took on the initial damage, how long it was before the pilots lost control, and how long before that plane broke apart and fell. The big concern, of course, that if this gets in the wrong hands, if the boxes are taken into the wrong hands, that someone could manipulate, mm. uh, tamper with that right, very right. critical information right. uh, for political purposes, for instance. News Center 5's Mayor Silana talking to the experts for us tonight.